she beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot. What's up? What's going on, my good people? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing well. If this is your first time here, I want to welcome you. Pull up a seat. Hope you enjoy the content. And before we get into this video, I want to ask that you like, comment, share, subscribe. Go ahead and tap that bell while you're at it so you're notified anytime I drop a brand new video, go live, or schedule a premiere. All right, y'all. So I'm back with a video shooting in the car. I have this lovely woman here with me. This is my mother. Hello, GP fam. What it do? If y'all here for the first time, everybody calls her Auntie Nisi. And we're out and about getting some shopping done. So we had a McDonald's in the parking lot. And I'm like, let's go ahead and get it in. So we have a filet of fish. She got a filet of fish as well. Got some fries. Uh, what you get, a Dr. Pepper? Yep. Dr. I Pepper. I got favorite. a Sprite. And that's it. That's it, y'all. Oh, and I got a, uh, I never had their cookies before. Y'all ever had their cookies? I got a couple of chocolate chip cookies off to the side as well. So. That's what we have right. Do you want some ketchup? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. hmm? You want like ketchup on your fries? Mm-mm. Mm. I don't. Did you used to eat ketchup on your fries? I used to. But if that was a million dollar question, Rhonda, you would have got it wrong. I sure would have. Oh, daddy eat ketchup on his fries. Mm-hmm. Me and him do. Okay. We got our fresh fries. I tell you what, but I do put on my uh, fresh fries, but I don't have them with me right now. Good. Is the uh the Cajun lemon pepper? Oh, I love that on my fries. She be tearing it up, y'all. She be tearing my seasoning up on her fries. She does like that's so funny. That is so so funny. She do. They, they live for that. <laughs> so I left my parents some uh, some seasonings from my stash, y'all. And I I left them so many Cajun lemon peppers. Like they were like that's the that's the, that's the one. But actually, we you, well, you had left um, a couple of the, the jalapeno um, garlic pepper. Yeah, we switched those out. Then that's like she spicy. like them, but they don't eat it as much as the uh, the Cajun lemon pepper. Mm -hmm. And they got the all purpose too. No, all purpose is the bomb too. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're rude. You what? didn't feed the fan. Oh, sorry y'all. I'm so hungry. Okay, let me give y'all a bite. Let me give y'all the first bite of my fillet of fish. There you go. Okay. Make sure they get a good bite, Wanda. Okay, there you go, y'all. Wanda, how you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really grateful that my mama is here. I know that. Oh, um, thank you. I am, because you know, having having somebody around and helping you through this process daily is very helpful. It is like. Picking stuff out. Um, she has a really good eye as well. Helping me make decisions too. Because you know sometimes you get torn on things. Like does this look good? Does this look better? Um, and just getting stuff done. Like I, we got y'all. This The whole back seat is full of stuff. So you know getting stuff in the apartment. Getting things situated and stuff like that. Um, pointing things out to me. You know as I was going through the apartment. And like picking out things that might be wrong. Or maintenance and stuff like that. She saw things that I didn't see. So I think it's good for both of us. I mean, because you know, you just overlook some things. Mm -hmm. This is gonna happen. Yeah. So but the thing about it is your maintenance people, uh, they're on it. Yeah. They're very prompt. And I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. I do. I really appreciate that. Like the things that I need to be taken care of, y'all. As soon as I put a request in for it, it's like happening the same day. And I, I like that's what's up because i've lived places where sometimes you got to ask more than once or it's taking days and days and days to get things done mm -hmm. so yeah they're really efficient mm -hmm. so how you feeling ma being out here hmm. you in columbus for the first time what you think i love the city mm -hmm. it gives me several vibes vibes mm -hmm. some of it look like areas at home mm -hmm. like in the Claremont up in the area mm -hmm. um reminds some parts reminds me of tennessee some parts reminds me of texas but y'all can keep this this weather <laughs> the wind <laughs> is whipping up out here y'all <laughs> we was in, we was just we just left dollar tree we went to home goods and dollar tree and i jokingly bought her a scarf in Dollar Tree. Why she put that mug on as soon as we left? We was leaving out of Dollar Tree and she put it on. Just took it off. She was like, I'm cold. I need some, I need, I need some earmuffs. <laughs> I think my body's getting used to it. 
it's probably like in the fifties right now, so it feels it feels good. And plus, we've been moving around, so yeah. But I will say, last night, um, uh, the temperature was last night. We mm -hmm. didn't have to turn on the um, the heat, which was ironic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just up. It was just on sixty eight all night, mm -hmm. and it was cool. It was it was good. Yeah, but sixty eight in California, I had the heat on. Mm hmm. But so far, so good. I like the area that you live in. Mm -hmm. Nice and cozy. Mm -hmm. My complex is quiet so far, huh? Oh my God. You can't hear a pin drop. It's quiet. It's very quiet. Even during the day, it's quiet. Mm -hmm. But one of the things I noticed today, I was asked about the ducks. Because you guys have like a little pond or whatever yeah. they are, lakes or whatever they are. Mm -hmm. That was interesting to me. Um, oh, because you didn't know it was ducks in the pond in there. I've never seen them. Oh, okay. I just see them on, you know, like on she the saw the ducks like crossing the street and she didn't know that they was actually in the water. Uh -huh. oh, you haven't seen them. I didn't know they were residents. <laughs> 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 yeah, so the, yeah, the move is going pretty smooth, actually. I mean, I think to be moving across country is going pretty smooth. I didn't have any problems with my car. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, the guy was like a little late picking it up, but I mean, my car was in one piece. I need to go get it washed for sure. I need to get it washed. And that's just because it just got dirty. Just, you know, the the, the dirt, the debris as it was being transported. Mm -hmm. But besides that, everything is there. Everything was in my car. No issues, no new scratches, no new dents. Cause I mean, <laughs> I, you know, Kodak is, that's, Kodak is old. Kodak is 12. So you love that car. I do. I love my car. Kodak been good to me the entire time. I ain't never had any major issues. So, so yeah, you know, the, the move is going well. I'm really glad that I found some artwork, y'all. Like, cause that's what I was thinking. I was like, you know, when I move, I really, as much as I enjoy art, I don't feel like I've ever had enough of it in my, my places like that where I've lived. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it, excuse me, cause it's like I've lived with other people or, you know, I've had my, I've had my own space, but then also just being in relationship with other people. You know, sometimes it's kind of hard putting certain things, you know, because you got to agree and meet somewhere in the middle with certain mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, I really enjoy art. So I really, I found some pieces that are very vibrant and colorful and really just really expresses really what I like and what I'm into. You know what I'm saying? So it's very fitting. So I'm excited about that. I like um, the pieces you selected. What do you say? I like the pieces you selected. I do too, and it was something that I found too, y'all, that I picked out that is not something I feel like I normally would get, which is a good thing. Um, that I'm, I think I'm gonna put them in the bathroom. I, I can imagine them in the bathroom, and it's like bears, y'all. It's like these little bears. Uh, one of it is like a, it's almost always oh, like a mother bear and a baby bear, mm -hmm. and it made me think of my mom, me and my mom. And then it's another, it's the three little bears. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's just nostalgic because of the story, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I thought like that's not something I would normally pick out. But it was cute though. They were cute. And it gave me like a bathroom vibe. Like the way that the um like the frame and stuff. I'll so, tell yeah. you that when you're updating and or buying new things, you can spend forever in the store. You can. You can. It's very easy to get off track too. And it's easy to start buying stuff that you wasn't thinking about. But then also too, I see a lot of things like, oh, I need that. Oh, I need that. That I haven't thought about, you know. But what's so funny is like you don't like to go shopping with me, but here we've been tearing it up. I'm not a big shopper, y'all. I am not a big shopper at all. But I am really enjoying this. I am. Like I said, I'm glad that you're here. Because I mean, be here. I think FaceTiming you and stuff would do it no justice. You know, because I mean, you know, you'd be interested in seeing the things that I picked up and stuff. And I just feel like you being here just it hit way different. Why? Because you know. I don't know how to use FaceTime that good. Well, I wasn't even talking about that, but I mean, y'all, we gonna have to. I'm gonna give you some FaceTime lessons before before I leave. Before you leave, Mama, because we are gonna be on FaceTime more. And baby, I don't know what you be doing, <laughs> but <laughs> you be tearing it up. I don't know. So yeah. I don't FaceTime that much. I, I mean, you don't, but that's why I need to give you some lessons because I don't know what you be pointing the phone at. I'm here for it. I'm going to show you. That's fine. Well, and then I can train. I can help your dad. 
But daddy ain't got an iPhone, so he ain't worried about that. Well, he be he FaceTime you on my phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But can we duo? Any of the alcohol duo? Yeah. Mm hmm. We should be using our, our family. Oh my God. Just imagine your daddy know how to use that. What, duo? Mm hmm. He gonna be duo, 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 what do you even call it? <laughs> he ain't gonna call you no more. Who's gonna wanna see your face? What you doing? Mm. What was that? What happened? Huh? What happened? Nothing. Hmm. I'm looking forward to my hair coming. My mom getting her hair done out here, y'all. You know she's serious about that hair. She got three appointments. Mm -hmm. Each week she going, she like, because I asked her, I'm like, okay, I got somebody to do your hair. So the same person that did my hair, shout out to Toy over at Next Level. She knows she does short hair as well. So she doing mom's hair. And mom got three appointments on the books before she even came out here. So, so you can get hair done for the first time this Friday. Is it ever weird going to a new stylist? Mm -hmm. Um, Wanda, what's in here? Huh? What you drinking for? <laughs> Nothing. Is that a kitchen? Something in your store? <laughs> Nothing. You mm -hmm. sure? Yeah, I'm good. Mm -hmm. You positive? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before I uh, started going to Kelvin, I used to I used to sit in a lot of chairs, um, you and it wasn't weird. Oh, like going to other people's things? Mm -hmm. Is this a prank or something? No. What you doing? Nothing. Mm -hmm. You sure you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm listening to you about this, the stylist. <clears throat> Is it you're like it's somebody back here? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, I'm not. But I haven't gone to another stylist in oh. 23. 23 years. I wish you would. Girl! What are you okay? You scared me now. Rhonda! What are you doing? I'm sorry, Mom. Go ahead. Rhonda, this is... You acting weird. Go ahead, Mom. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh God, go! You better run down! Stop it! Shit, I'm getting out this car. <laughs> What's back there? <laughs> Girl! You're making me sick. I'm gonna go home. No! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it's a prank, but wait. Y'all, I was debating if I was gonna do it or not. Woo! So it's, it's been like people was doing these videos and like, Pretending that they fighting their imaginary friend. <laughs> what? She said she was gonna get out the car. <laughs> Mama, you was gonna leave me in the car with the demon? Shit, you have to like <laughs> shit, everything was okay. <laughs> Let him get you and not me. <laughs> Mama, you would do me like that? Girl. <coughs> you make me sick. Oh shit, that was funny. <laughs> you make me sick. I'm sorry, Mama. I had to do it though. Mm -mm. I had to. I was gonna do this. Okay, I hadn't seen this. I know. I knew you had seen that. I wish I could have taken it a little further, but y'all had to get that laugh out. <laughs> um You wrong for that. And I'm sick of you pranking me. Well you people let me do it. Girl. Mm. Sorry, mama. And what's what's funny is that what video was he supposed to shoot? It was a video. You thought you saw something right there? Well, I was trying to look back there and see who in the hell you was reaching at. Now, did you look back there right now? Well, not right now, but before. Go ahead. And this is the thing, y'all. I really wanted to do it at home. Let me tell you why before I left. I really wanted to do it because, like, I wasn't sleeping good at night. And, like, I was jumping up and having, like, nightmares and stuff like that. And I felt like me doing this would have made my, made it very believable. You know what I'm saying? I think you really, really believed that we was at home. Excuse me. Well, I feel like you believed it right now, but I'm saying, like, I think you really been, would have been really scared because yeah, those because nightmares I was having. Because when you have those, when you, when you were having those episodes, it's like, I was always awake. Yeah, my mom would always be awake, y'all, at, like, about 1.30 in the morning, like, for, like, 
uh, like two weeks in a row, I was getting up at the same time. I would get up. I would just be like jolted out of my sleep. Um, I would be up and my mom would come check on me because sometimes I would scream or whatever. And she would come check on me. Y'all, I would be looking out my window, like trying to like process everything, you know, because you know how it is when you, in a, I was knocked out and I don't know what woke me up. I'm assuming a nightmare or I heard something or whatever. And um, so anyway, when this was going on, that's when I really wanted to do the prank because I knew that she would be like, girl, like this now is happening during the daytime and you up and <laughs> where's this prank at? It's on, um, on YouTube. Really? I'm going to show you some of the videos. Mm. How long has this been out? Oh, wow. Mm. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Really? Mm-hmm. Just got around to it. Why you don't never prank your daddy? Daddy ain't in no videos with me. Well, you could, well, you can have the camera set up in the house. I mean, he did that one prank, but we pranked too, but he helped me. Y'all made me, oh, y'all made me sick on that. The one. end of the world, y'all, if y'all haven't seen the end of the world prank, check it out. <laughs> if you haven't seen the prank where I have my mama thinking that something was in the car crawling on her, she jumped out the car. I got her with the fart spray. Uh, you know what? I'm, I should put together a playlist of pranks <laughs> on my mama. That's really what I should do. do you want a cookie? Right. Mama, you want a cookie? Okay. You don't want it? Mm -mm. I'll save it for you later. You so anyways, y'all, you all right? Uh, you dying, right? I spilled salt all on my sweater. Um, ask your friend to get it off. <laughs> Y'all know she got to give you her classic laugh. <laughs> How was your food? Was it cool? It was pretty good. I was, it was hungry. It wasn't. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. That's pretty much my main thing. I order. From McDonald's is a filet of fish. Um, gotta have the fresh fries. And then sometimes too, like to make sure when my sandwich is fresh, I ask for the tartar sauce on the side. So that means they gotta make it like brand new. They yeah. give you the tartar sauce on the side. So that's something I do every now and then. But let's see, what time is it right now? Oh, it's a little, it's, it's 6.20 right now. Oh girl, this this time. Oh yeah, the time difference is kicking her butt. Like mm. it's, it, it's kicking her butt. Like I'm telling you, once you wake up, I feel like after 10 or 11 o'clock, it feel like the day is over. It is over. It kind of feel like that. It's like you done missed everything. Like, not everything, but it feels like you missed a lot of the day. Well, one of the things I think is the first day, Saturday. Mm -hmm. So, it must have been Sunday, if not Monday. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that. Maybe I did, and I just didn't remember that, you know, your, whatever your time zone is, your watch and stuff resets. Oh, and, yeah, and yeah, your yeah, cell phone. yeah. Mm-hmm. Girl, I had three hours on top of that. <laughs> oh, yeah, so she forgot, <laughs> y'all, that we was already in the right time zone. And so now from California time, my mama done set herself ahead six hours. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't get y'all. I'm like, mama, like the time, the time, it'll do it for you. Like, you got to change your watch on, like, you know, your, like on your wrist. You got to adjust that. But your phone will change on its own automatically. Girl, but you're right. What? So 11 o'clock. Uh -huh. It's eight o'clock. It's first. eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. So I'm still like, you know, my time. Yeah, no, it's gonna take some time to get adjusted though. But just what I'm saying, like by the time we, if we do get up, by, if you got up at like eleven or twelve, and we trying to get stuff done, by the time we get dressed and leave at like one or two o'clock, it, just it feels like the day is over. You know, because we do. I like to get out and do all my stuff while the, while it's daytime. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I don't mm -hmm. really like doing stuff at night. I don't know why. I just I, I, that's a that's a new thing where I try to get stuff done during the day. But because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't care before. But now I like to get out as early as I can to knock stuff out and get back home. That's what I like to do. You know, I'm the total opposite, right? Let me tell you something, your auntie. Gonna let me tell you the times. If I haven't told y'all this, <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times we be at home all day long, especially on on like the weekends when I was growing up. Let's say the mall closed at what? What's how the mall closed on Sunday? Like eight. By, By eight o'clock, mm -hmm. my mama wanted to leave the house at seven forty. I'm like, mom, like we've been home all day. No, you give me a little more credit. It'd be at least seven or seven, six forty-five, seven o'clock. That's still late though. I don't care, but it wasn't. It's, been, it's been times where it's been seven forty, where she like, well, I know what I want. I'm gonna run in and get it real quick. And I do. All I'm saying is, you didn't think about that all day. I have other things to do. Yeah, like wait till the last minute to go shopping. Like that's. And it's like Excuse that me. now. So if we went out shopping Excuse me. when it's dark, it's okay for me because I'm used to doing that. I like daylight. I need to see everything that's going on. I mean all I'm, of it. 
Well, for my parking stuff, I pay a park. No, no, I think and you I just. Look out for, I think you just more of a night owl. I think that's what you prefer. But I like to go out early. Also, too, when I get out early, it ain't that many people in the store. Either mm -hmm. that's what I like. I like to get in, get out, and get back home to put my stuff up. I, I'm changing, y'all. As I get older, like I'm just changing, like because I didn't used to be like that. Mm -hmm. So let's. It's like I said, this is a new thing. I'm shaking like a real old lady. <laughs> uh, whatever. She older than me. Then whatever. Whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I like to be home early. I done told y'all that. That I like to be home early and everything too. I like a good time, but I ain't got to be out all night. Like I'm not a three, four in the morning kind of person anymore. Like that. I kind of feel like we go out somewhere. You, I feel like I'm gonna have a curfew. No, nah, if we go out and have a good time, no, nah, girl, yeah, you. We be out. Me, me, and Liz should be back home early. It'd be like eleven, twelve, twelve thirty. I can't remember the last time me and her hung out till like two o'clock in the morning. Oh, during the screening when everybody was here. That's because everybody was here. So I'm saying it. I mean, it depends. I'm saying that like when I what I used to do when I was younger, I don't hang out like that anymore. Girl. You know every weekend I'll be out till four, five, six in the morning. Yeah. I can't do that no more because it just takes too long to recover. And even I ain't even talking about drinking. I'm just talking about being tired. And I can't stand when I gotta lose an entire day trying to like catch up because I'm so tired. Mm -hmm. I hate that. So yeah, I'll be in a, I mean I'll, I'll go out, have a good time, give you my three hours of fun, and I'm back at the house. I know the times that we've gone to the casino. Oh god. And it'd be like 2 30, 3 o'clock in the morning. Rhonda's over there just piled and like ready to go home. Oh, girl. Cause <laughs> she don't want to stay in the casino until about six in the morning. Mm -hmm. Easily. So I gotta take a nap when I go with her. Like I gotta take a nap for real. But it's always been like that though. That ain't a new thing. I've I've never been the kind of person that wanna hang out in the casino until six in the morning. But I know when I'm with you, I gotta get ready. So are there casinos out here? Yeah, I know it's one in Cincinnati. You wanna go? Okay, sure. We'll see. We'll see. If we get, I mean, you're going to be here for so like about another two, two hours. It's a two hour drive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like Cincinnati a lot too. Yeah, we'll go out there. I like Why the not? Casino. I haven't been in a casino for a long time. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to take mom to the casino. That's the least I could do while you're here to take you out there if that's what you want to do. So yeah, make sure you get to your hair appointments. Make sure you go to the casino. Anything else you want to do while you're here? Photo shoots. I got plenty of clothes. Oh yeah, we're doing photos. But see, we wait until she get her hair done. That's the only reason why we haven't done them yet. Yeah, but yeah. that's okay. But my clothes are ready. Mm-hmm. Shoes are ready and I'm ready to do my photo shoes for Shirley Girl Boutique. Yep, so that's Mom's Boutique. If y'all haven't checked it out, she got a plus size boutique. Um, I'll include the link below for y'all to check it out. Anything else you want to say to my mom before we leave? No, it's just been a long time since I've uh, been on video. Has it been? A, it ain't been that long, Mom. Come on. It's been a while. You don't invite me no more. Anyway. <laughs> well, you had not been home, so. Don't worry. I'll put you to work and put you on some more videos before uh, before you leave. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm for it. All right. All right, y'all. So I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and meet me in the comments. Make the best of the day. Be good to yourself. Peace. I be beaming. I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot.